Hi everybody, welcome to today's presentation, which is basically iron sights, tritium sights versus red dot in similar, almost identical uh, pistol. Hey baby, read them and weep. 2.43, 2.43. Point four, and it is clean. First shot, 271, still under the 2.75. I think I could have been a little bit faster without getting a fly in my threat focus. I've done a similar video borrowing this one before, comparing it to a 1911. So modern 9mm with a red dot, lightweight versus a uh, lightweight 45 Commander. Look at that video. And uh, every now and then I want to break out and get some red dot because I don't use the red dot all the time. I want to use it and I want to compare it. And uh, so today I wanted to be a little more fair. They aren't identical, but they're close. These are the Arex Deltas. I borrow a lot of firearms from friends. I work in armed security and know a lot of law enforcement. So it's easy for me to borrow some pistols. And uh, this one is a Gen 2 with the ACSS reticle hollow sun. Um, so that has a certain reticle. Uh, there you can see the reticle now if you aim perfectly at extension you don't see the big circle of death but if you're pushing out and you see a little bit of the circle in one area your brain knows to push it down right left whatever your brain auto adjusts so really on a perfect press out you don't see that circle unless you're shooting from the modified car position and then it's on their chest on the pie which is perfect uh, maybe you're using a shield something SWAT teams need to be aware of and uh, here so this one's like G19 size uh, a little bit lighter, a little bit thinner. This one's G17 size, a little thinner, a little bit lighter. So uh, half inch of barrel, I don't think that's really going to make a difference. This has uh, night sights, bright orange front night sight. This has that ACSS reticle, which is a special reticle and probably better for people that aren't totally dedicated to red dots like myself. And you might be shooting from not ideal position with the uh, ideal push out. You might be jumping out of a car, getting behind cover, got knocked down or whatever. But anyway, let's see how the times and the shootability and the accuracy compare. All right, first up is iron sights or tritium sights. And guys, I do love AREX. I do love the AREX Deltas. Uh, I'm doing them because it triggered me to remember I want to shoot those, borrow those again, because I did on the AREX 02S. If you want the best hammer fired, Double action, single action pistol nobody knows about. Look at my Arex 02S videos and look at videos of these. I was like the first one to do ones when they first came out. And they are the best budget buys because they're going for steals now, like $200 cheaper than what they're worth. Um, really, honestly, they're great, lightweight, very efficient. They're the most efficient size, weight, to capacity, if that's your thing. So, uh, going baldy on the left here. All right. Hi. Center, that took long enough. Center. Okay, so let's go. Look how I did with iron sights. Front orange tritium. So all right, not great. I think that was the first. That was the second. Then I started dialing in here, and I think that was the last. So best five out of six. Actually, those were those is decent, not great, but decent. I got to learn the trigger again on these. All right, let's go for uh, this one on the right with the red dot. All right, now I'm at an enclosed range. I'm the only one here other than one guy rifle fire uh, at the other range. And these are Slovenian pistols, and I think a great deal. I don't have a relationship with them, uh, but I've always been very, very impressed with them. All right, let's try here now. And, uh, you know, if you feel more secure with the red dot mate going for precise shots, precision sights. I'm only, precision shots, I'm only at seven yards. 
So believe it or not, if I had measured them, I started going too fast over here. I felt too safe. If I measured them and took away the six, so if I only did the best five out of six is what I usually do, that's a little bit tighter than that is. So it's just a little bit tighter over here because uh, it would have been anyway if I eliminated the one flyer I pulled that low. But I got three jagged right there exactly where I wanted. So five out of the six are definitely very good, uh, very centered, and uh, pretty even so far. But now I'm getting familiar with the triggers on these. All right, let's over double the typical range, 15 yards. They say seven yards, but a lot civilian is three to five is really the bottom three to five yards. But that's to go with the old FBI saying is seven yards. 15's double that, over double that. And these are smaller than uh, human sized head there. We got a Mark hostage taker taking my girlfriend hostage, that SOB. Uh, let's see what kind of confidence I have going back and forth between the iron and the red dot and how long it takes. I try to do this uh, Jack Wilson type of drill in three seconds from concealment. I'm going from a uh, holster I've never used these in before, the Tagwa holster I use with the uh, the um, A-Rex 02S review, which you better check out because it's awesome. Okay. I think I got him in his right eyeball. Let's see. 2.65 first attempt with the uh, night sights. Let's see if I made the hit. So first attempt, 2.65 with iron sights. I'll take that. That's a very small head, less than the seven and a half inches I think my fingers are. A human head, my size head, way bigger than the eight inch uh, pie we use for someone's chest. So first one's a hit, let's go to the red dot. All right, first attempt with the iron sights, the great 2.65, bam, dead center. Uh, now with the red dot first attempt, I got to remember to try and use the top of the chevron. So it does have that. And then if it really far distance, 50 yards, 100 yards, you can drop it down to the bottom, depending on your caliber. So it's pretty awesome reticle. Here we go. Ooh, I think I threw it left. Oh, I was, hey, the, my draw, did you see the barrel got caught up in the shirt? That was not awesome. Uh, and 3.42, so that's over my three second part time. So that's back to iron sights. Let's do it again, orange tritium front. I think I got him high in the forehead. Higher than I'd like in the tee box, but enough to shoot him down. 2.29, so I sped up now, this being my third attempt overall, second with the iron sights, 2.29, so that's not bad. Yeah, I called it a little higher than I would like, but still far enough away from her for safety, uh, actually, because she's shorter, so maybe I should be aiming a bit higher. All right, back to the 507C ACSS reticle equipped one. Shit. Ooh, I don't know. Maybe it's just the bouncing. I'm worried. I, f I feel like I got him way uh, to the far side this way. Uh, let's see the time. 2.84, so still under a three part time, but a little bit longer than the uh, tritium. And actually, it was on this side. So I'm not loving that. I didn't know exactly where that shot broke. And uh, hitting a little on the side here, that might not be immediate set shutdown. You say, well, it's so close to this one. This one probably is. And this one. Especially he's got a 1911, he might have popped off a shot. So, uh, hostage situations are tricky. And this is. All right, let's start with the red dot first this time. Let's do some build drill, seven yards. Let's see what I can do on Gabe White standards. So slow, so slow and bad. And oh my God. Oh, that was not great. Not great. I didn't do practice draw. I should have done a practice draw. And then when I did carry a red dot, I would do practice draw at least once in the morning. Like at least once or twice, right? Uh, and get your draw down. 3.14. One seven six the first shot. That should be one five. One seven six isn't bad for me. Actually, from outside waistband leather holster. Uh, and I'm in the new Tagwell holster, 27 split, 31, 29, 26, 25, slow splits, and bad recoil control. At that time, I don't even want to look. So, I mean, it wasn't that bad. Three are in the heart, right? The, two are in the A-plus box 
This is all his own USPSA style. Those are all there except one went high. However, Gabe White says, well, one going high is luck because you should be pushing yourself in speed. So if you get on the trigger a little quick, that could actually help you out. Uh, now, whether or not you count this in, if you count that in 3.14, because it technically it broke that black line, and I think technically that would be a 3.14. Even if you added the 0.25 uh, for a head box miss, I'm still under a 3.75. So it's still a dark pin pass for my first build drill today. I don't love it, but it wasn't bad. Now it's iron slash steel tritium sights, and it's like the G19 size one. And keep in mind, these are two ounces lighter than like a G19 or G17. So my splits, you know, on the recoil control, it's not like what I had with the heavier 02S. Okay, check out that. Here we go. Hoo -ah! Felt pretty good. I think I got a line break in there. No, I don't think I got the time. I'll have to play that one back. So it's probably a dark pin around the same time. And yeah, I like that. Five out of six, four were where I was actually aiming in the inner A plus, upper thoracic box, hard spine. I got five out of six in the A plus zone and one breaking the line on the outside A zone. So on the A plus box, and that's the standard. This is the uh, standard that Sage Dynamics Aaron Cowan holds himself to because he really tries to get everything in there. And it's good to hold yourself to a higher standard. So I'm All right, let's do another run with the red dot. Fuck, one outside the A zone. Bouncing around too much. Bouncing around too much. Just following the bo bouncing ball too much, maybe, instead of threat focusing. Both 1.76 to the first shot. Actually, two runs earlier. It was 1.76 to the first shot. Last one I didn't get. 3.17, so we're right in between dark and light pin. Uh, 3.17, but I got a miss. So it's still a dark pin run. Let's look at the hits. So five A zone total, two of the five are in the A plus box, but it kind of bounced way over here, way over there. That's not a very good hit. And that while technically uh, 3.17 plus 0.25 still makes another 3.75 par, dark pin pass. I'm not happy with that. All right, let's do another run with the irons. Hoo-ah! Hesitated on that first trigger pull. Damn it, and one of my rounds went high into his throat. 293 though, 293, I'm getting closer to that 275 light pin type of time I need to be in. The splits were faster. So in the 5A zone, three are in the A+, plus, two on top of each other on the spine and heart. A third in the spine, but high. I don't know if that's a minus 25 because it'd kind of be breaking the line for a head box or, it's, or if it'd be even worse than that. I think it would break the line. So I think it's still a dark pin run. Um, and, and that's the kind of luck that could help you in a fight if you severed the guy's spine right there. I mean, what he did there and there as well. Um, so it wasn't a horrible run, uh, though I'm hesitating on that first shot still a bit. All right, guys, hopefully this isn't boring. And what I'm trying to do is give you some data so you can say, hey, do I really need a red dot or not? I am currently of the opinion that if you're a civilian, you absolutely don't need it because most of it's going to be between two and five yards. Statistically, going by uh, all kinds of uh, data that's out there of FBI agents, DEA agents, when they were not in uniform, when they were playing clothes, as well as all of Tom Given's uh, students that have been in defense of gun use. Most of it's in that two to five range, right? You got to train even closer and extended range, but most of it is there. Now, if you're law enforcement... I've kind of been in the opinion that like 130 or four should have red dots because the propensity that there might be some long balling shots taking place is far greater in a law enforcement setting. And even the new job that I get, would I rather have a red dot? Probably if I get this uh, new job where long distance shots, but I want to be able to make them uh, iron sights or red dot. Okay. But does it really speed you up? I don't know. And we even did some stuff at 15 yards. Maybe we'll get it 25 yards uh, before right as it's going dark. Uh, here we go with a um, uh, failure drill, failure drill, Mozambique, to the body, one of the head. It felt good, it felt fast, and I felt accurate. 1.74 to first shot, see, I gotta be, be faster and carry appendix and, and uh, kydex and all that, 174, I mean, that's all right from... 
outside waistband leather. 202, so a 28 split. That could be a little bit faster. 2.59 overall. 2.59 overall. And then you want two and a half. Two, two and a half seconds, 2.5 for a light pin pass. So I'm just off. I'm near a light pin pass if all my hits are in. Uh, still a dark pin pass under 3.15, I think. And I got to say, I did threat focus, and I put the chevron over what I wanted, squeezed it off, spine, heart, boom, incapacitated. Spine, a little lower than I wanted on the second one, but right on the spine. And guess what's right on the spine? T-box, boom. So really good hits, 2.59, almost a light pin pass. I haven't made any light pins with these pistols before. They're really light. I'm kind of in between in my level now. I've done something with the HK45C, if you look at my 357 or 45 Part 2 video, and I was smoking um, some with the Arex 02S, which is a little bit heavier and thicker than these Arex pistols. Uh, but that's pretty good. That was almost a light pin run. Very good hits. I'm very happy with that. All right, let's run the irons again. Fuck! I threw my head chat. Trying to push a little too much, maybe. That's how you get faster here. 2.51. I was trying to get that 2.50. Of course, it's 0 0.01, you know, one over, right? Oh, 174, so I'm still on the same draw. 199, same split, same transition time. 2.51. So two in the A plus box, I do like that. Two in the heart and spine, A plus box, that's not great. It's still in the head box though, so it's a, a minus 0.25 penalty. 251 plus 0.25, 2.76, still way under the 3.15. So still a good dark pin pass, but I, I don't like that. I don't like that. All right, back to the L size or the G17 size. The other one is the M size or the G19 size, even though they're thinner, they're lighter, and better for carry, and they're cheaper with steel sights, a better trigger than Glock. So I highly recommend them as, like, someone looking for their first carry or whatever. I think they're absolutely great. I've been using 124 grain, just so you know. Uh, first, I was using Norma. Now I'm, I've been using Federal. I don't know what the hell just happened. I don't know if I missed the shot because I was about to give up and then I heard the beep and I kept going. <laughs> I think I screwed that up something majorly. 1.86, 1174, 2.78, I'm way off par. And that was a bad run and I was about to give up and then, oh shit, I should get on the draw still and I kept going and that killed me a tenth of a second up to what I usually am. I'm not happy with that. That's still a dark pin pass. I mean, maybe clandestine services would be happy with that because all three are on his spine severing this dude. Um, you know, I don't know. I'm, I'm, let me know if you want me. And FYI, these do fit in most G19 and G17 holsters, especially can shim them or tighten them up to make them a little bit tighter because they're thinner. And, uh, you know, rumor is that P10C magazines, P10F magazines work in these bad boys. Hmm, two of my shots went a little higher than I would have liked. But I was pushing it. Did that help? It felt like I was pushing it, not needing the perfect sight picture. I knew I was a little high, but at seven yards, I'm learning that, you know, 10 yards in and a lot can be done just by pointing the pistol and trusting yourself. If you have a uh, good grip and good recoil control fundamentals, uh, and yet I'm still over. Okay, faster to first shot, 1.6. It's the fastest I've done today. I know a lot of people are a lot faster than that, especially Pentax from Kydex with the same pistol every day. Different pistols, and I'm 3 o'clock lately. Uh, 2.43 over. Man, I hope those hits are in. That'd be my first light pin with a light pistol like this. Hey, baby, read them and weep. 2.43, 2.43. That's under the 2.5. All A's. Those are two A pluses, actually. A pluses, that's higher than I would like. And that's higher than I would like, and I knew it. When I saw my picture, but I still let it go. Pushing myself got me to my first light pin. Not my first overall, but a first light pin with a light 9mm pistol. I've done it with the Arex Zero 2S, and I've done it with the HK45C. Um, so that's a light pin. Now i got to get regular with light pistols like that. But I'm pretty, pretty darn happy with that. All right, moving on to the third of four 
drills that Gabe White standard standards are drills now to the immediate capacitation to from concealment everything I'm doing is from concealment so those are the times I give where you add 0.25 for concealment two headshots and I'm trying to get light pins in a run so I'm sticking with the Delta M for a couple of runs uh, to the, the Delta medium sized iron sights because I want to roll some more and light pin passes Fuck. I don't think, what? If they're both bad, uh, breaking the line. I think one maybe didn't break the line. <laughs> ah! 2.4. I'm trying to get under. I'm not sure what I'm trying to get under. Wait a minute. I was thinking he had to get under 2.5 for a light pin. I did 2.4, and it is clean, actually. Those are clean. Uh, but it's actually under 2.75 for a light pin. So that's a smoking fast, probably my fastest immediate in the capacitations. I remember nailing one really good with the HK45C as well. So 2.42 in the, and those are clean, A box, 4 inch pie. Uh, that's pretty damn good. I'm going to do it again, baby. All right, let's get three in a row, even though I'm hanging up because the magazine's too low. Whoa! Two in the heart, set two in the head, set two in the tee box. Let's look at my time. I'm just working on my draw speed. That was my fastest draw of the day at 1.53. Outside the waistband, leather holster, appendix, kydex is faster. Okay, 1.53, 1.93, 1.93. Now, if I could just do that to the tee box, that was, you know, that was a complete F up. But I put two in the heart in 1.93. And that's what shows you pushing yourself is good. So, I mean, I wouldn't have done that unless I pushed myself instead of I didn't go there. Boy, if I got two headshots at 1.93, I don't know what a freaking turbo pin is. It's probably one and a half. Something insane. I got to get those one second draws. Uh, but anyway, I totally messed it up. But I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it in the head this time. All right, let's put two in his head box this time. Whoa. Go to that first shot. And just outside the head box. Damn it, I would have had three light passes in a row. 2.28, smoking fast. And 0.03. Wow. Now, even with a miss, I'm still at a light pin pass. I'm still at a light pin pass, even if you count that as a miss. And, I mean, technically, there's a little bit of a line break. I don't know. I think a ruler gets involved at USPSA and stuff. Uh which, in case, that's smoking fast. 179 a first hit and 2.28, 0.49 split, 2.28 overall. I mean, if you count that as a line break, that's awesome. And even if you don't, plus 0.25, uh, that is still, I believe, yeah, under 275. That's still a light pin pass. That's really fast. So I'm doing good. Three light pin passes, I think. Either way, you slice that one. All right, immediate capacitation standard, two to the head with the Delta L. And the uh, 507C Hollow Sun with the ACSS reticle. A fucking fly distracted me in my threat focus. There was a fly going down left to right between the first and the second shot. That son of a bitch. I think I still made the hits. Yeah, I still made the hits. I think it's still a good run. 2.71. That's still light pin pass, baby. 1.79 to first shot. Now, 194 to first shot. Slower with the red dot uh, than the uh, night sights, it looks like. 1.94 to first shot. 271. Still under the 2.75. I think I could have been a little bit faster without <laughs> getting a fly in my threat focus. Has anyone had that happen to him before? Uh, with the red dot, especially like in the window, you see the fly. Um, Anyway, two headshots, good. 2.71, that is another. It's a little slower than um, the ones, the light pins I did with the uh, night sights. But another light pin. So I think I did my fourth light pin pass overall today. So I'm doing all right. Guys, I'm sorry if this is boring, but I decided doing the standards and set all my movement I like to do and multiple attackers and all that. This, um, this really gives you more concrete data. Okay, let's do it again. Another light pin pass, baby. Whoa. So with the Delta L, oh, I just did a 2.54 median capacitation, two A's. That's a light pin pass with the Delta L and the red dot. 
Hey guys, so which one do you prefer, with Red Dot or without? Hopefully you're not only doing slow fire stuff with the Red Dot. I was running out of data, and now it says I got three minutes, I don't know. I did get a light pin pass, only did one with the Red Dot and the media incapacitation. I did three light pin passes uh, with the irons, um, and then I just did four rounds each, uh, what I had left at 25 yards, and was basically equal. This got four A-zone, but they were kind of low in the stomach, but A-zone. And this got three A-zone high, upper thoracic, which I prefer, but one a little outside the A-zone, like more in the shoulder area. Um, so... Let me know what you guys think. Do you think civilians need a red dot? I don't think so. I see these older guys doing slow fire accuracy with a red dot and thinking they're doing good, and it's just, you know, grip and trigger control. That's not doing drills. That's not under pressure. That's not under speed. Are you really more accurate, or are you just accurate, maybe more accurate slow fire? Um, now, for law enforcement, I think one, especially with this reticle, this reticle is really what they should all be, uh, probably. Um, but uh, for law enforcement, does it make more sense? I say at the least, the top 10% of your class should be able to get red dots if they want, and the lowest 10% of your shooters should get red dots, and pro they'll probably improve. So your people that are having the hardest problem qualifying should get them, and your best guys should get them, and your SWAT team should get them if they want them, uh, et cetera. Now, you should have backup irons. My friend doesn't have backup irons on this. I don't know what size since it's like SIG or XD sites, uh, he can't find any. If you know of any, let me know and I'll tell him in the comments down below. But anyway, guys, uh, I'm sorry I stopped it there because I thought I was out of data. But please let me know. Always thumbs up, share, subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you think of Red Dots versus not, which you prefer, and uh, should you be training with both. Thanks.